Aquatic animals, just like everything else, get diseases, and get sick, and die. And just like any other animal, we have to be able to diagnose what those diseases are in order to learn how to either manage them or to prevent them. In a capture collection can be stressful under certain conditions, but that also happens in the wild. Stress is a very common problem in the wild where there's a temperature change, a predator or a group of predators that are chasing the animals, where there's a lack of food or anything that might cause stress in the wild can cause a precipitation or an increase in the number of, of infectious organisms, whether it's a parasite or a fungus or a bacteria in those animals. So those same diseases are seen in the wild as we see um, in our tanks here in the facility, uh, different proportions for different types of diseases. There's always new diseases and there's new animals coming in. And as temperature and salinity and pH change out there in the water, um, those stresses are potentially going to bring to the forefront things we haven't seen or haven't understood as important um, diseases before. As we start to see the temperatures increase in the estuarine waters, uh, especially in the northeast here, we're starting to see a, uh, an increase in the disease occurrence in our oyster populations in the same areas. So it's, um, I expect we're going to see more and more than that and it'll probably travel up the coastline as the temperatures increase up the coastline. So that's one of the kinds of diseases that um, we will be more worried about uh, now than we were, let's say, 15 years ago. We're already seeing that happen. Um, and there'll be other diseases that are going to, going to follow suit, basically, with those kinds of problems.